when a dead man awakens with only one memory, a memory of a figure in black. He must descend into the grim and gritty world of purgatory, but by doing so, he sets in motion a chain of events that have truly mythic consequences. The W.O.D. throws you into the shoes of William Mason, who is perfectly voiced by Ron Perlman. The wind was cold, like knives. It brought the scent of copper, the smell of the hunt, blood, torn flesh and bones sucked hollow. You awaken in this beautiful cell-shaded world that Upstream Arcade designed. With only a single memory, you set off into the world to explore. You must grind your way through each level, which is randomly generated by using its fun and refreshing cover tactic system. The cover system allows you to duck and dodge enemy shots, grabs, and hits, while giving you time to plan, reload, and counter. But be aware, your cover will not stay there for very long. Your cover takes damage. After it hits its threshold, it will break and leave you wide open. But if that ends up happening, you are still able to defend yourself with its smooth and rewarding dodge mechanics. With a well properly timed dodge, you are rewarded with a cool slow motion shot as your character ducks out of harm's way. But let's move on to the offensive side of things. At the start of the game, you are given two randomly generated weapons, ranging from a pistol, shotgun, or rifle. Even more is scattered across the maps for you to find. Each weapon you acquire will have its standard stats, ranging from how much damage, to how many bullets it carries, to how long it takes to reload since reloading is automatic. You are also given two utility slots. In each slot, you can store blades, bombs, or even a lantern. Yes, I said a lantern. Your lantern and lanterns in each room, if used, will stun and reveal enemies. Also, while you deal with your weapon's standard stats, you will also have to deal with its unique characteristics. Pistols will have rapid fire, shotguns will have a wide spread but low range, while rifles, well, rifles will have a slower aiming time and must be reloaded after every shot. Combining all these features and mixing in the different type of baddies and bosses make for a fun and exciting gameplay experience. If you feel this game is right up your alley, go check it out on the Steam page and drop into Purgatory. The full game release will be available on all platforms later in 2020. Thank you for watching another episode of Beta Insight. Till next time, guys. Deuces.